guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, A. Zinni Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, here are your finalists. Ile Baye from the Level Up season. CC from the Double Wahala season. Mercy from the Pepe Dem season. Season, cross from the shine your eye season, para from the shine your eye season, and a decolle from the level up season. Yes, guys. So as it is, we have two level up housemates and two shine your eye housemates. Yes, guys. These are your top six. They are the finalists. And as I'm speaking to you, voting lines are already open. Yes, you all know this is the final week of the show. Voting lines started by 8 p.m. Yes, Nigerian time. And it will close by, I think, 9 p.m. on Friday. Day. So whatever you do, this is not a time for you to be defending your faves on social media. Those defense will not add to the vote of your faves. This is the time for you to attack those polls. Like vote as if your life depends on it. Well, because your faves future kind of depends on it. Yes, you are the ones that will be standing in the gap for them if they are to win the 120 million or if they are to go home. They've done their job and stayed in the house with your help. Of course, it's now time for you to push till the final lap and give them that win. Will it be the general of the Patriots Pere? Will it be the boss of the Cross Nation Cross or the queen of the mercenaries? Mercy or CC, the king of the Spartans, or Adzekunle, bad boy Dex of the Islanders, or the newest kid on the block, Ile Baye, the queen of the Baye tribe. Who will be the All Stars winner come this time? Next week, Sunday, it's all in your hands to decide. Yes, guys, tonight started with, you know, Ebuka looking dashing and handsome as usual. Yes, guys, after a lot of, you know, um, taking us through everything that happened during the week, giving us the highlights of the week, he went into the house and had a chat with the head of house. That is Ile Baye. He acknowledged that Ile Baye actually won the head of house at the right time and also she won the most excruciating and the most important head of house of the season. Now, even at that, he also mentioned the fact that they lost their wager and asked her about her reign as a head of house. Well, she said that she tried her possible best in Ile Baye's voice, despite all the side talk and the hate. The moment she mentioned that you could see the eyes and the daggers we are facing her from the ladies because they know themselves. Yes, guys, she said despite all that she, she tried her best and all of that. They presented their wager, but it wasn't good enough as and they lost the wager. Ibuka pointed out that wasn't she, you know, concerned about the food the coming week? Well, she said she tried her best. She will blame herself. She will blame the housemate. The judges said that what they did, they tried, but it wasn't good enough. So um, she was sad for that day, but what can she do? Yes, guys. So next um, Ibuka asked Pere about his stay in the house being all about friendships that were um, kind of like the issues he had with his friends. He gave the instances of Alex, Cece, and Venita, also asking him if this is true, that his stay in the house was all about broken friendships and all of that, and where he is at the moment with Venita. Now, Pere replied that that wouldn't be true. Like, it's a game. Yes, you meet new people. Yes, we are friends with some people. Yes, emotions will be high. Tensions will be had. You know, that he tried as much as possible to resolve those issues, but but then again, we cannot forget the fact that it's a game at the end of the day. Yes, guys. Then who else was asked the question? Yes, Cece was also queried about her operations with Neo in her dreams. Let's say Neo is the man of Cece's dream. <laughs> um, Ebuka asked her about it and she was like, ah, Ebuka, well, that's 
I mean, if she was not in a relationship, Mio would have been that guy because he looks good. He smells nice. I mean, Mio ticks all the boxes for um CC, yeah. But because she's in a relationship, the best she can do is to be operating with him in the dream. Yes, guys. But she said that outside of this house, she would love to be friends with Mio. Now, Ebukana asks. Ah, uh, because you have a boyfriend, do you think that's a good idea? She doesn't say, um, they are friends now, just friends. I'm like, oh, girl. Now, so then they start from just friends to another thing. No, be my mouth will not go hear them. Anyways, away from that, Ibuka also questioned Mercy, um, why she was shocked that she was not up for possible eviction. Well, she said, the thing here is that um they see her as a threat yeah but as time went on then the house it became more like friends and family it was now a question of who will leave the house and it will hurt me most right so that was it and she still feels that they still see her as a threat and oh how can i forget the one that i was shocked by soma's response to ebuka's question now ebuka put soma on the host seat on the spot and said okay soma which would you choose being in the house and being with angel your in-house girlfriend or coming out of the house and being with your girlfriend on the outside well soma said he choose to be with Angel in the house. I'm like, hey, now what? So, <laughs> well, that goes to kind of confirm what I actually thought from the beginning, that there are all these relationship outside and all that. So some of them, it's a lie. It's like this whole facade they put up so that, you know, you will tag them as a bad boy, bad girl kind of thing. Yeah. You know, when somebody is already engaged with somebody on the outside or has a commit commitment, you know, to another person and you see the person with another person, there's this whole thing that gingers Nigerians and the audience about it. Yeah. It can go both ways. It's either they fall in love with it or they don't and in his case they ate it all up but good luck to him Sha. and after that after all the questioning and all that these are the people that were evicted venita was evicted first um yeah we all expected that to happen didn't we like none of us were shocked by that what actually stood out for me in venita's eviction it's how ilebaye sat down on her head of house seat and was sipping her drink she did not even move a bit like it was the same reaction she had when Sheyi was evicted right other people that were evicted she kind of like stood up but you see Sheyi's own and venita's own baby girl did not move an inch i'm like hey, hey, hey. anyways you know after that um she came on stage um she came on stage crying like she was overwhelmed by the love by people loving her just the way she is you know and when asked about her relationship with adekule she said that adekule knows where her heart is she has let him know where her heart is and it's a place that she doesn't often open but she would wait for adekule to come out for them to know where they are at the moment the nebuka president to show her her highlights and the people that you know nominated her and put her up for possible eviction and i guess she was kind of like shocked even though she did not say Isha, that ilebaye was not part of those people yeah and she said well she's not shocked according to what she said though that she's not shocked because everyone that she nominated she went there and told them with her full chest at the end of day she said she has a lot of projects movies and all of that and she thanks her fans and the viewers for loving her just as she is well i hope she also extends that same grace to others anyways um the second person to be evicted was soma Ha, Soma gave me a show. When he was evicted, he ran upstairs, you know, and went to that um balcony from the head of house lounge and was shouting, I could be like Declan Rice. I'm like, this guy, hyper. <laughs> well, he was evicted. He came on stage with that energy and all of that. And because also asked him about the girlfriend, you know, how many years they've been dating or how long they've been dating. And boy was like, I plead the fifth. I know one talk about time. But he was like, yes, he wanted to get to the finals, but... I mean, he never really had an experience, a proper experience of the Big Brother house in his season. Remember, he stayed just two weeks and now he is in the ninth week. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a whole lot of improvement. Now, when they showed him people that um, nominated him, I think the one that shocked him most was, I think, Adekule and CC. Yeah, aside from that, he has a lot of projects, mu movies, music, and um, businesses, and um, all of that. Now, Angel, I think Angel's stage... 
um, post um, eviction stage um, interview was the best for me. Baby girl came with energy. She was, ah, ah, I'm like, hey, now, nah, wow. I enjoyed and um, I enjoyed watching her interview. Angel is a vibe. Like, the way she got the audience shouting, Angel, Angel, like that was super nice. I love that. I love the energy. And I also love her speech, right? She was like, um, it's God that brought her thus far. And wherever God leads her, that's where it will go. And like she said in her season, yes, she did not win the 90 million then, but she made more than that, you know, and now she might not have gone home with a 120 M, you know, but she's going to make more than that here. Yeah, and that's a win for her. I'm like, yeah, that's a spirit. I love that. Now, when she was sure the people that put her off for possible eviction, I think she was shocked most by Cross. She said that wizard put her off after making, you know, her promise that no Shania I put person will nominate um another shine your eye person but i'm like baby girl you've made that same promise with Tilly you but you um ev- you put her off for possible eviction so i mean it is the game it is what it is yes guys she also said that she is going to see her baby and when Ibuka asked, she said ah so ma, oh, eh, so ma. i'm like ah again you have shown me that there was no man on the outside Nah, there was no man on the outside. You can't tell me you have a man that was giving you all those millions that you are claiming in the beginning of the show and you can easily toss him aside and go with someone like that. Nah, nah, I do not believe there's a man on the outside, but it is what it is. Now, before I forget, when Miss Vic were interviewing the live audience, um, after interviewing the two, two people, he now asked the live audience, who do you think will be winning the show? And you could hear it. Almost all of them screamed Ilebaye. I kid you not. Yeah, and that was like, okay. I was, <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's see how it goes. Yes, guys, at the end of the show, Ebuka congratulated them. Yes, for coming to us for top six. Ebuka told them, you have to be proud of yourself and try as much as possible to have fun this week. It's the final week. And also, Messi's birthday is on Friday, if I'm not mistaken. She's my fellow September baby, right? Like, have fun. Have fun. You've made it as far. And he said that almost all of them are finalists except for Ile Baye. So it's something they should be proud of themselves for. And that was how the show wrapped up. Here is how you guys voted. Yes, um, we had Angel with the highest percentage, followed by Summer, then Venny. Pere and Adekule topped the chat, so they are in the finals. Once again, voting lines have been already open for a while now. This is the time to put your money where your mouth is. This is not the time for you to come on social media to be doing all those social media posts. Nah, it doesn't count. This is not the time to be countering or defending. No, this is not the time. This is the time for you to attack. Defend on those Pose. Make sure that Deloitte feels that your faith is the All Stars winner. Because whether they call it pity vote, so crying vote, so fighting vote, so votes now votes. Big Brother does not care how those votes came or you know what prompted you guys to vote. All he cares about is let the votes come and let the votes count, and that's the only way you get to um crown the winner of the show. So who is your winner? Who is taking that money home? Let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Ezine Williams. 